What are you so afraid of? What fear is keeping you up at night or keeping you from living your truest and most authentic and freest life? Are you afraid of bears, rattlesnakes, ticks, mountain lions, strangers? I've heard it all. Aren't you afraid of fill in the blank? I've pretty much heard it all. So many people let their fears keep them from doing the things that they want to do. So today I'm going to challenge your idea of fear and what it really means and maybe give you something new to think about to set you free. So stay tuned. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. So the inspiration for this video came uh, several weeks ago. There was a rumor on Instagram spread by stupid people, something about a free weekend to rape. It, it, I don't almost didn't even want to talk about it. It was ridiculous. I heard from a few commenters that said, watch out this weekend. I didn't even know what it meant. And I did a little research and it was just a couple of hopefully pranksters or sick minded individuals on Instagram spreading just crazy stuff. I'm telling you, the internet brings out the worst in people. But anyway, so that's what inspired this video because a couple people said to me, you better be careful this weekend. Uh, go camp with other people. You need to camp with other people because this is going on. And that got me thinking uh, about something that I think about quite often as far as fear. So here we have most people are afraid of being alone, what's going to happen. I mean, you know, guns in this country, people are so afraid of other people that they are buying guns in record numbers. And many women feel that in order to be safe, they need to be around other people. You know, and I understand kind of a, a, a surface level logic to that. You know, I used to feel that way. I grew up in the country and I felt safer in the city. I felt safer surrounded by people. My thought was that if I scream, somebody's going to hear me and call 911. But what does that really mean? If you really dissect that and dig down deep, what does that really mean, especially as women? who've been taught to be helpless, been taught that we're vulnerable, who've been taught that, you know, we're just prey to bad people. Even in the wildlife, I mean, even if we're talking about being safe from bears and snakes and ticks and all the other, you know, lions and tigers and bears, oh mine. I mean, even if we're talking about that, what does that really mean? And I think, again, especially as women, because I think women are taught, sorry, I'm shaking you because women are taught that the world is a big bad scary place for women and therefore to stay home and I've talked in other videos about this I'm thinking about some of the boy if you listen to like 70s rock and roll now you know and some of the songs and I can't even think of them right now but don't go the big it's oh is it a Neil Young song it's a wild world wild world anyway that song but there's a lot of songs that tell young girls and women when you go out into the world bad things are going to happen to you so i think it's really important for us to not just look at any anything in a, in a vacuum we got to look at the bigger picture of these things so when we tell women the world is scary watch out don't go out alone in the world. What is that really telling us? It's telling us that you're not strong, smart, capable enough. Sorry, the flies are terrible. <laughs> to take care of yourself. That message, you can't go out into the world alone, isn't necessarily just telling us that the world is bad. It's telling us that we can't take care of ourselves because we're too weak. We're not smart enough. We're not strong enough. We don't have the tools and the equipment that men have. It's okay for men to go out into the world alone because they can take care of themselves. And sure, strength is a part of that, but there's a lot more to staying safe than strength and brute force, right? Boy, the flies are terrible, so I'm gonna move. So when, when people told me with that horrible thing a couple weeks ago, when people told me, sorry, I'm gonna have to move around, otherwise the flies are just gonna swarm me, that you need, in order to be safe from people, you need to be around people. <laughs> that's what they were telling me. And that's what women hear a lot. That's what people hear a lot, not just women. People cause the crimes against us, but you must be around people to be safe. 
And again, I talk about women specifically, and like I said, you can't you can't look at any of this in a vacuum. There's so many different pieces and things that go into all of our lives, whether we want to admit it or not, it's the truth. So that's what really struck me. These people, in this case on Instagram, just decided to play a sick joke or whatever. People cause 100% of crimes against people. Crimes, you know, I'm not talking about getting eaten by bears, but we'll get to that in a minute. So the answer is to go be around people. I'm sorry, the flies are distracting me and I'm losing my train of thought. Hold on here, let's try this again. Okay, so if the, um, if the answer to crimes committed by people is to be around people, what is that really saying? That's really saying that you're not smart enough, you're not strong enough, you're not capable enough to take care of yourself. So isn't all fear pretty much based in that assumption? That I need to be around other people to take care of me because I can't take care of myself. Right? Think about that a second. That if I am saying that I have to be around other people because if something happens to me, I have to rely on someone else to take care of me, isn't that just kind of falling into that old adage or the old belief, false belief that women just can't take care of themselves? That we need a man? Especially, right? When you think about being in trouble, not always, but when you think about something happening, most of us probably think it would be nice to have a man around, right? Not necessarily, but sometimes. So that's the challenge I want to give all of you around any fear, whether it's fear of, of being murdered or raped or attacked, or whether it's a fear of bears or rattlesnakes or ticks or disease. Those fears... You know, and yeah, they're rational fears. It's yes, you should be afraid of bears. However, if you if you are smart about going into the wilderness alone, if you do your research, if you understand that the chances of seeing a bear are minuscule, if you understand and know in your heart what to do if you do see a bear, if you prepare yourself, and that's all up here, that's nothing to do with brute force. If you prepare yourself, arm yourself with knowledge, not bullets. Ooh, I like that. Arm yourself with knowledge, not bullets. <laughs> You're going to be okay. So that's the thought I wanted to leave you with today. That when we say you can't go out by yourself, I feel safer around other people. I could never be out there alone. I would ask yourself, does that, really, am I, does that really mean that I just am not confident that I can take care of myself in any situation? And if that's true, if the answer is, yeah, you know what, that is the truth, then what can you do to gain that confidence? What tools can you get? What research can you do? Do you need to take a self-defense class? Would that help you feel better? Because really, that's what it comes down to. And again, especially as women, we're taught that we're vulnerable and we're weak and we can't take care of ourselves. But we can. I'm living proof of that. You just have to be smart, learn how to trust your gut, all those things that I have always talked about. But if you arm yourself with knowledge instead of bullets, number one, you can totally be safe. I watched an interesting, I'll put a link in the video description, I watched a really fascinating and interesting John Oliver last night about stand your ground laws and about gun violence. And, um, you know, guns don't necessarily make you any safer. That's all I'm going to say. It's up to you, though. I mean, whatever you need to do to feel safe and to take care of yourself. I, I'm not anti-gun. Uh, I think that everybody has to do whatever they need to do to take care of themselves. Anyway, just food for thought. Wanted to give you something to think about. That it, What are you really, really, really afraid of? And what does that fear really mean? About your own ability to take care of yourself. Arm yourself with knowledge, not bullets. Alright, I hope that gave you some food for thought. I hope that helped you maybe think about some things that you can do to get over your own fear so you can chase your wildest dreams whatever they are and be as free as you are meant to be i'll see you next time in the meantime be happy
be free and be kind. I'll see you soon. Sorry, the flies have been, I've been really distracted by the flies. <laughs> Sadie's, there's Sadie. Everybody wants to see Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Yes, we're in the forest. All right, bye.